first question I have is really quite a broad one. Yeah. <laughs> and it's basically, how did you study for maths? Well, even before you go into class, I generally had already read that section of the textbook because I found going in there knowing what you were going to learn, even if you didn't understand it, really helped. And they, I know they tell you to do it at university, but it never, no one at high school tells you to do it, but it's easily the most useful thing I did. But, and then some, sometimes I even go a bit further ahead, like I, in extension two, I actually finished the course a few weeks early, because then I could start doing trial HSC papers that little bit earlier before trials, so whereas everyone else started doing them a week and a half before, which really gave me a big advantage. All right. I guess after that it was pretty much just loads and loads of extension of papers, and um, online you can find Catholic trial papers sorted by topic, so you can target a particular area, and there are hundreds online if you search extension to maths papers. And Towards the end, I started going through and just doing the, the last two questions of all of them and picking out things that I was weak at. And that really helped because it's all hard to read stuff, which is you generally don't really get taught. So you have to kind of figure out the patterns a bit for yourself. But, yeah. right. Excellent. And so, I mean, that was, I guess, a broader coverage of what you did yeah. um, across the year. So jump ahead, teach yourself almost before you got taught in school. Yeah. Um, and then try to get into past papers, yeah. either the whole paper or by topic, yeah. as soon as possible. Yeah. Um, what did you do though, sort of on a more weekly basis to prepare and well, study? On a weekly basis, like I said, I'd read, read the textbook, then do it in class, and then do the homework, and that's it. Studying three times before you even had a topic test or done revision, so that really helped. So it was just repetition, really? Yeah, we, well, with maths, there's no like, you can't, you know, make diagrams and stuff like that, although to some, de to some degree, like, if certain integrations say, if often having uh, like a quick summary of the different methods because they're very categorical and stuff like that and then by the end of it you can wrap them off just by instinct rather than having to go through in your head like some people and you did, didn't, you know, it took up a lot of time when you can, it's an easy topic and yeah, I often, I, a big tip would be just to really stick to it. If you've got a hard question, don't just look at the answer straight away, keep going like maybe look them up the next day or something because often you'll be sitting there just you know on the bus or something and you'll go oh i know how to do it or if you come back to it it really helps and for harder questions as well that is really really useful because they're the type of thing that the first you know a few times you go through and doing the first like you know a few weeks maybe you might find it really difficult but persisting and persisting you get faster and faster so then by the time you're doing exams and the actual HSC, you can actually get through it and not just have to do two marks. All right, excellent. So um, beyond, you know, doing the homework, yeah. um, going ahead, doing those questions, I guess, yeah. part of the homework, did you do anything in addition to that on a weekly basis or was that it? It was just... Um, I guess I, not so much on a weekly basis, but every few weeks. I would, like for three you know, we finished the course really early and I finished it even earlier. So I did one paper a week and by the time I'd done trial, I was just doing that like two hours a week and stopped, didn't do homework, but I just did that. I'd already done 15 papers and then by the time the HSC came around, I'd done loads without really doing that much work by going a little bit ahead. And then for extension tools, it was a lot harder because they were big, but I, you know, maybe do a few questions of a particular topic if I had a few hours spare, but I wasn't so structured because I knew I would actually get down there and do the work, but it was more sort of in the holidays before trials or before the HSC and stuff like that that I really did extra work, mm. but also just before exams. Oh, well, that was actually my next question. So that's basically the way you got ahead yeah. was using sort of that... I guess that holiday through that six weeks between your sort of fourth term of year 11, first term of year 12? No, not you, or even before that? No, not at all. I didn't get anything done then because right. I was away most of it. I was at Physics Olympiad camp, so I missed... So you missed a big chunk of time. The, the, really. on, the only homework I did was French, and that was in the week before because I said I'd go through and do a giant load of stuff that the rest of my class had said they wouldn't do, so then I had to do it. <laughs> And that actually really helped as well because we got 
ahead so we finished that course early but so then when did you when exactly did you get the opportunity to go ahead and often it would just be like on the bus or something where it's like i'm really bored so i you know flip through the textbook or something like that or you know just you know when you have 10 minutes i might only take 10 minutes a week to just read the chapter on it and you'll find you know you can go ahead a little bit and then you know in the holidays i might have done a little bit and stuff like that and just throughout and then even if when I first started doing three unit papers ahead I didn't really know a lot of the topics that well but I looked over them briefly and done maybe you know like four or five questions out of an exercise but not that much and then just getting down and doing papers was kind of like doing the exercise and filling it out so instead of having to spend all that time just doing the one topic you could kind of gradually built on it and you built on the exact questions that you knew would be in the exams that were in the year after year. But that being said, you still need to go through and check and make sure you have every style of question done because there are still weird questions out of that way. Alright, so in other words then it was not looking at big blocks of time to get here, it was just using whatever little time you no, had no. and just consistently, I mean I guess it makes sense if you do a little bit each week, builds yeah, up like every reading, month. Reading the textbook it might take 10 minutes a week to mm. just read, you know, two pages, not do the, read the exam, like the... But just to familiarise yourself with the concepts. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It gives you that little bit of a kickstart. 